Hello guys. Again today, welcome back to Loop Hero. Uh, we're going on our expedition. We're going we're gonna to actually complete Act 1 with the Rogue. I have not done that yet. So, let's try it again. I We lost last time at the Rogue. We did beat at the Lich. But, I tell you, we did win at the Rogue, but the problem is, he, we didn't die because of overconfidence. So we're going to pop in the cemetery. No blood groves. Actually, cemetery plus villages. Uh, Chrome Crystals are turned off. So we're going to be having three different spawning things. Yeah, okay, hopefully we get a lot of space at the Rogue. Uh, okay, so we first get armor and a sword. Now, let's if you remember right, we don't get I we don't get equipment until we reach town. We trade what we got from the enemies into our equipment. We don't choose what equipment we get, but that's when we can actually get equipment. So, like, see, it's popping to this bag here. Maybe when we get town, we're getting four. Uh. We're gonna be four. Four or five different equipment. And we don't know what it is we're gonna get. But that means every, we can't get better the further we go on. It's like, just like that. We got a lot of loot. Wait, we can just start putting on stuff that's better than the others. Alright. That's gonna be. I wonder what's gonna happen because it's ranked to that. So we're just gonna have chests? Probably. And we do get quests. Oh my gosh. Another village. Alright, perfect. Pop that right there. I am, I'm hoping to stack stuff on top of each other because... Alright, we got... Old frying pan, that's interesting. Break that open. We got tier 3 boots. Tier 3 chest plate. Better boots. Tier 4 sword. Oh, let's leave anything different. I'm gonna get rid of this bandit camp. Oh, so this does not... Oh, so this will not work next to a town. Interesting to know. Quest! Mountain tops. Yeah, I am gonna be moving those. Uh, what do we got? Um. We have our chest plate. Axe, 
Better boots. Play their sword. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why we're just spawn points right there. We're gonna be destroying that the moment we can. Pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna cross technique. Uh, what do we get for armor? So if it's like one less than my current, I'm I'll I'll see if it's better on the stats or not. But if it's if it's like two more and it's gray, I'll still take it. Okay, can I please get like some sort of destruction thing? Okay, if I remember right, if I place it right here, here, and here, I can cover everything with meadows. Bolton oh, chest plate. Oh, Axe, yeah, cheese. We're getting high level stuff here. I like attack speed, so we're gonna keep the attack speed. Uh, Goblin leader. Bust it down. Okay, we just got our treasury. that so right. oh, next thing pickbox experience and chance to get resource chart from enemy while countering small screen card chart chance to steal. <laughs> Alright, then you break that open like instantly. Okay. 
We are getting a lot of stuff. Okay, we start turning our wares in. Level 11 sword. Jeez. We haven't got anything to destroy these stuff yet, which is really unlucky. In our bandit camp. Gosh! Give me someone to destroy the dang. Oh my gosh. They might, be, they might just be permanent. Oh my gosh. Why did it take it that long to give me one of those? So the thing is, is with those open, they do spawn uh, gargoyles, but I don't really care about gargoyles. They, I, they die really easily. Those stone guys, wings, like that guy just died right there. They're stupid easy. Okay, finally we can take out them. Now we should worry about bandits, which are fine. Also, oh, uh, we got a lot of villages. Uh, I will not look at what I got. Okay, so it looks like I got better boots. Don't know why I did that. So we're getting basically constant regen, but also dealing with super hard mobs. Okay. Well, boots. And axe. Uh, I've had this chest play for like many loops now because of how good it is. Really, really being led by a, a little slime. Yeah, that's blue slime. Why are bandit camps spawning? How would a bandit camp spawn? Like a random chance of placing something? Because that's kind of this is the most bandit camps I've had. The most I've had is one. I was supposed to have got two. But three? I'm getting like no cards too. Gotta love it. Okay, what do we get? Uh, okay, am I getting that like a sacred here? Uh, yeah, no. Mimic is dead. Actually, that might be pretty bad because after each kill, and we have like thousands of HP. HP. Okay, you reduce spawn rates in there. right here but I need, I need way more items to, be, to get
There we go. Oh, that's a... Okay, that's a lot. I just noticed that he is completely... His area is empty, so we're going to be having a lot of trouble. Yada. Ooh, a really bad attack right there. This ain't looking so good. Yep. Uh, we're gonna use my skull right there. And... Right. I forgot, I have an Omnicron technique. Okay, nope, we are doping out of here. Retreat. Okay, I completely forgot we had a revival, but it looks like we got, looks like we're not gonna get anything else in the level one thing, so. <clears throat> it seems like you, for each class, if you replay Act 1, you can get a new skill unlocked. But if you already done the class, I think it's a lower chance of, of him spawning it. They really get no Ords of Expansion? <laughs> Ords of Expansion are dang rare in this game. Okay. Let's build the Intel Center. Unlocks the Encyclopedia, unlocks the Desert and Sand Dune cards. Lots of ability to add gold cards to the deck. <clears throat> so here's what we know so far. The world consists of darkness and fragments of your memories, and it doesn't stay the same for long. Nothing is stable. Well, that's not completely true. There are some key memories that, are, that drastically change everything. As we keep notes of, our ex of your expeditions, the pieces are starting to form a larger picture. It would be much easier if everything was so shapeless. Remember, and all knowledge is priceless, so Please share it with us, and together we'll decide how to use it best. Like, we'll be, uh, okay, we got, meaning we got, we just unlocked a lot of stuff. Okay, so, there ain't that much enemies, that's nice to know. Oh, we're missing one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, are these, these are combinations, and then, okay, we're missing one type of thing, I just clicked off my menu, whoops. Okay, that's really good to know. Um, supply. A silverware, plus two damage against all undead. Bed, plus one to the hero's max HP, but minus two healing from the campfire. Um, that sounds not good. I'll keep it though. Uh, he's one HP to killing an enemy, that's nice. And then, I'm um, heals 15 HP when keyword passes the campfire tile. Uh, it was a max? I knew it was a max. Okay. Oh, I need more mud huts. Let's build a watchtower. You've already made anything to leave in the camp, but you won't forget the arrows fired from here. One crossbow will help you for each tower and battles and uses the campfire with good battles and normal enemies. Lost well, yourself. Oh! So. The nice stretcher right there. Sturdy, reliable, useful. I'll keep telling myself this to myself over and over. I even almost leave it now. My voice can already see quite far in this dark fog. It'll support you about whenever a crossbow bolt can reach. The civilians will sleep better at night. I guarantee their safety. Okay, I can't build any more mud huts. I need more wood, so I need to get... Okay. So... We can build up to four of these, so... Adjacent to the campfire, enemies... Will... 
So basically you're reducing the amount of enemies near my town. Nice to know. River unlocks the river card. Okay, I need more of those. What are those? Orb unities. Uh, again, I should, I should really pull up the wiki. Loop hero wiki. Okay. Uh, I'm over here. Uh, which is really useful. Uh, loop hero wiki. I'm gonna do that. Okay, so materials. Uh, what is it? Orb of Unity? Hold up. Orb of Unity. Chapter 2, Enemies Drop It. Okay, that, so not a lot of enemies drop it, and it seems to be... Okay, got it. Orb of Unity are actually really easy to get. Orbs of like Expansions! Why? Alright, this for me is... Easy or dismantling jewelry. Might just dismantle a jewelry for oh, he 15? Ugh! Really? That's stupid crazy. Well, it says right here alchemy. Is there, is there like. Oh, there's an alchemist tent. I need a library. Oh my gosh. Why do you need so much? All right, no expedition. We got new cards. Desert ancestral crypt. On this place of an ancient family line, death is the lesson that teaches here, honored here. Plus three max HP for every enemy with a soul killed by the hero. Remove the HP bonus from all armor. Gives the one, one resurrection with full health per expedition. HP? Okay, then we get root the HP bonus from all armor. Oh, so like if, if any armor gave me HP bonus, I would not get it. Okay. And then I got a desert in plus sand. Or a squeak every creature's HP by 5%. Yeah, I okay. I'm gonna. Turn on the groves. I don't like these. These are very annoying. I'm gonna turn off wheat fields. All right. New card, new expedition. Expedition two with a necromancer. Necromancer I like. All right, here we go. Uh, we can't equip that, damn. Uh, desert lowers every creature's HP by point. Wait, what? All right, make a giant desert over here. I wonder if we can make really tall dunes. Because we, I just like this thing in the middle. how it's gonna work. Mounds over here. Back from wire. What was that? Ooh, ooh. Like if I bought a reach here, the crossbow man could just take out, help take out the creatures. That's cool. How much damage do you? Five damage. Okay, that's pretty decent. I'll just pop that right there. Okay. Uh. 
Uh, skill level is lower. Better summon quality. More magic shield. All right. Uh, this right there, I'm. Mm. Another treasury. Middle of the desert. Okay, this should seem really good because that is going to be noticeably different as time goes on. I like my ring right now I have on. Plus one skeleton is really useful. I'm gonna use right click now so I can uh, pause the thing better because I this, this is like a sit back and relax game. Whoa! Ziggurat. Zans are trying to help the people the world rebuild. This is the result. Spawn the Devon Spirit each loop. The Spirit 30% turn to battle anywhere on the road. Spirit every seven desert. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's a dis uh, it's a destroy. We'll see how difficult it is. If it starts getting very difficult, then I might just destroy it. Nothing has spawned yet, though, so... I am optimistic about keeping it. Okay, garlic for vampires. I don't... I should really put that vampire thing back on. Surrounding it would uh, actually make it like a uh, rotten meadow, but it looked like the case. Okay, extra skeleton's cool and all, but I'm going to need something stronger. Ooh! Speak of the devil. Alright, level up. Alright. Unseen care, art mat, art control. What's the mat? Okay, that's what I need. Or you. So it speaks. What kind of creature are you? I feel like you at first. But this is okay. Now I am but a handful of coarse grains bound by primordial magic. I have knowledge. More importantly, you are unstable, fleeting, and still is the land. More amorphous than the ever shifting sands. You're the least elusive of us all. Your help. At last, we're waiting to hear this. No one seems to realize what's happening. Everyone pretends like things have always been this way. You still want to help someone. You make a different thing. You are a constant existence. Stand magic can do a lot for you. This long enough. You can barely take shape before you're gone again. I wanted to follow me down a path of heat and sun. You shall become, become one of us. A deep change of the desert. A layer of sand that persists. Slightly a vast. You shall fill this cold void to the brim. Or fill it even. You know I become sand? No way. We'll all fall apart in due time. Sure, but I'm not going down that easy, and I'll resist now. Okay, so he apparently has magic defense. He deals massive damage. There was the two when I was alive. I read it when I was born. So shall you one day. We'll see about that. Okay, that guy just did a lot of damage. 
So we're gonna need our skeleton stats up. Like, I'm gonna have this be like a wall between the two. Oh, you can see the spawning on it. destroy those the moment they spawn because they deal way too much damage. captures to the amount of max skeletons I can get, right? Was his level one counterpart. That's garbage. <laughs> All right, I need to reduce spawn rates. Yeah, see, the, the, the problem with this guy, he can kill skeletons easily, which makes him really bad. Your path through a tile, you heal for each non road tile around it.
Uh, I think we have about 20 right now. So 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Alright? 5, 15, yeah, I'm at 20 right now. So one more and I'll be dealing with all another annoying uh, spawner. Oh, it actually tells you how the goblin camp spawns? Oh, how do those spawn? Every tin mountain in a rock town. Oh, that's how they spawn. Oh, wait, Grimoires. What the heck? I can't place any more sand dunes until I get like a destruction thing. Even then, it's risky. Okay, I need to get something replaced by plus one to old max health, but it is not helping at all. Okay, so I see why you want to bury your stuff. Oh, you're back. He only has one HP. Uh, dinner table. Okay, so yeah, you don't want... You do want to balance out what you get, because... It's like, my, my problem here is so we're at uh one two three four five so i'm trying to count this okay hold up one two three four five six seven eight eight times four thirty two five 36? Thirty-seven. Thirty-eight. Thirty-nine. I can't place any more right now, so I got one now on the spot. Bada bing, bada boom. And then I can place another one of these. Okay. That's why you want to vary your stuff. Like, this is really easy for the adventurer. You know, they deal with a lot of stuff. Why are you getting sound effects? I will say we got our quest got spawned. But yeah, since we don't have much cards, we're just getting a bunch of land cards, which all that is going to do is spawn more annoying guys. So yeah, we're just gonna start discarding cards at random. Oh, that's new. A hunger grove. We're blowing with lost this connection to the forest. Can't constant agony because of its irrational existence. Oh, you don't want to do that. Does it attack the hero? Okay, this possibly could spawn another goblin camp. It didn't spawn one. Well, I'm pretty sure if pressing any more, it's gonna spawn. Up there, what the heck? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so far so good. Another one of those. I want to get destroying cards because it's going to take me way too long to try to open that up. I need stronger equipment. stats because the problem is we're starting to run out of stuff to play and I can't we're just hoping an RNG in our hand I'm also waiting for a level up look at all the bandits oh that heavy HP does not look good Demonic. Alright, level up. Okay, uh, we. Oh, it kills an enemy, fully heals itself. You get a 10% did for us the bell. Oh, uh, that's not really good. I'm um, cross technique. Enemy spawn rates. My well, gonna be really good. So this is why you want balanced deck, not toward one end, because the moment you have it toward or to one end of a playthrough, you're gonna be be having the worst time ever. Six region per second. That's nice. Okay. If we're not getting things that help destroy tiles, which is really weird. There we go. I want to show that so we can cap out this. Goblin camp work. That we have like no way to place them. Yeah, we don't place them on a place it right there. Because placing it right up there is just gonna cause trouble. That's the last goblin I think that is. Okay, that's a fair version of that. Oh, we got nice constant region. That's nice. Because the reach is constantly going up for every second at last, so... We are severely lacking in damage. 
Oh, sorry, to spawn skeleton archers. That's very interesting. Oh, we might die here. Rip. I'm using my skulls. Oh, wait. Resurrect! Omnicron's technique! Corrin is silly dead! <laughs> yep, nope. Tick all. Oh, we get three resurrects! We get three resurrects! Kill the necromancer. <laughs> You're brutally murdered. Yeah, we we just got brute. That, that was brutal murder. Okay, let's take unlock the forest and ticket cards. Wow, it's a forest. Yep, a forest. Call it wood. It's really unbelievable. Yeah, I get it. I know what a forest is. Shiny example of perennial evergreen flora. Are you making fun of me? That's how a logger plant looks before it dies. So fascinating. Yep, definitely making fun of me. <laughs> it's a forest. It's a forest. Oh, we're close to the lumberjacks. And, oh, we're very close for a war camp? Alright, it's the end of the episode. We learned a lot more things. We we got an overpowered gold card. That's really good. Deserts are good and bad. And we learned how to not build a deck. That's nice to know. If you like the video, please subscribe. If this for <laughs> you play this, because I just want to be able to get one run done. So if you like the video, please subscribe. Next episode, I'll be grinding. Um, I'll be grinding off camera. I'm gonna do two runs off camera. I'm just grinding act one. Because I need to get more loot and I don't want to be repeatedly going through this on videos. I'm not gonna build anything. I am just going to grind. So, like, video, please subscribe. I actually, one thing I will build right now is a mud hut. Bam. There we go. Now, pack up the tents, sleeping bags. I'll pour everyone in a few minutes. Not enough house for everyone, so some families will have to share. But now we're, we're one step closer to civilized living. Oh, Ashley says we can upgrade now. Oh, sweet. Uh, okay, I'm gonna increase attack range by one tile. This little tower will let us see monsters even far away from the camp. Don't you worry, these beasts won't scare my men. Not great again. No. No, right there. Okay, I don't know what that means. Well, if you like to do, please subscribe. I. Yeah, we're still learning new things.